Well, this month, the morning crew leaves the anchor desk and goes on the job in our community, learning the ins and the outs of some pretty important careers. And this morning, we're heading to a local animal shelter to see the hard work that goes into finding our furry friends that forever home. It's an all-too-normal start to the day at the SPCA of Luzerne County. A cat picked up off the streets, shivering in the bitter cold, and brought in by Wilkes-Barre Animal Control. First, a quick microchip scan and computer search to see if there's a documented owner. There's not in this case, so the cat is handed off to the vet tech to begin its exam. It's a routine process for the shelter, but new to Kelly, Stefano, and me as we go on the job to lend a hand. Volunteer coordinator Chelsea Feldman shows us the ropes. We're never closed 365 days a year. Somebody is here in this building to take care of these animals. Last year, more than 3,000 animals called the SPCA home for a time, and that leads to plenty of chores that must be done before they open to the public at noon. First, Stefano gets to work in the cat room. Every day we have to come in, get all of the belongings out. At any given time, there can be more than 150 cats in the shelter, so it's important to give each kennel a thorough cleaning. It's like bleach, but safer for cats. Fresh food and water. They could put a bed on one side. And clean bedding. Our newest addition to the shelter will find his way to this cat room eventually, but first, vet tech Amber Reese is completing those tests we mentioned earlier. Any cat gets a blood test before they even hit a cage in case they have something contractible. This little guy gets a clean bill of health as he warms up from the cold, but he's just one of the animals getting attention. This little man came in with a collar embedded in his neck. And now Kelly's helping to administer the proper medicine. There you go. There's no needle involved. This is an oral antibiotic given daily. Get right in there because he's going to spit. <laughs> there you go. Good job. At the same time, a volunteer is hard at work in a room you hear before you see. Hi, baby. The North Kennel has room for about 30 dogs, and they're almost always full. You want to spray down the floor, the bed, and the walls. Each morning, the dog kennels are also scrubbed down, rinsed, dried, then prepared with fresh bedding. Oh, and if you find any free time, it's all hands on deck in the laundry room to get that bedding ready. Oh, wait, it's, no, Stefan, I did not do a good job. It's a daily to do list that gets no breaks, no holidays, and takes no vacations. But each animal that finds that forever home is proof that their hard work pays off. A lot of people will say, How can you work in a shelter? And I sometimes want to say, I don't know how you can't. So I'll tell you, it is nonstop work there at the SPCA of Luzerne County. But it's interesting. We talked to them about if you see something going on in your neighborhood, and you might be worried, hey, if I call a humane officer, it's going to be this big dramatic scene. You know, I don't want to be involved with that. But they make 800 calls a year for initial abuse calls. And a lot of those are just for education. So there's yeah. no big scene or anything like that. They're just trying to educate people on how to take care of these animals properly. Yeah, so it might be something as simple as, you know, we had that big cold blast two weeks ago. It feels like forever ago. But even leaving your dog outside, you know, five or ten minutes, mm -hmm. it was too much. So just that, that, that education, just to, you know, maybe call the humane office. They'll knock on their door be like, listen, we just want you to know yeah. your dog's outside, yeah. can't be outside in this kind of weather. I think it's very much, they would prefer, you know, if you see something, say something about it. They would rather mm. go and, and have a conversation yeah. with somebody rather than let it get to that next step yeah. where then they have to intervene. And even, even with, with the cats, when we were there, that, that, that one cat in the very beginning of, of what you saw there, mm. that cat they found behind a red box that just got out of its house. It had a collar yeah. on it, and yeah. it must have gotten out of its house. So just things like that, you know, being aware of, of what you can do. Really, yeah. so we have to thank them for letting oh, us yeah. stop by. Hopefully we helped a little bit and didn't make anything worse. I know, you know? Which can happen. It can happen, yes. <laughs> it <should laughs> happen. How are we doing for tonight? we got a lot to talk about.